Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you take a second and hit that subscribe button down below. I'm showing you a sneak peek right now of all the exciting projects I've got coming up in the next couple of weeks. As you can see, I was busy spraying and gardening this weekend, but I also had a few simple flips I wanted to record for y'all. So let's get started. First up are these items that got started and never finished. These were a few thrifting items that I started spraying with Rust-Oleum Satin Black Spray Paint as a base coat and then never finished them. <laughs> Is anybody else guilty of this? I grabbed my absolute favorite color in the DIY line. It is Apothecary. Look at this gorgeous vintage green. I'm going to give a couple of these items, two coats of Apothecary, and then I will move on to another color. There are a million reasons why I love DIY paint, but look at this coverage. Y'all, this is one coat. It is so highly pigmented and the consistency is super thick, so you're getting great coverage. Also, you can water it down and make your paint go even further, but for these projects, I'm putting it on nice and thick. I also used DIY cake batter. This is a newer color for me. I've only used it a couple of times. So far, I am loving it. One of the colors I used in my sprayer this weekend was DIY White Swan, so I went ahead and sprayed a couple of smalls while I was at it, including these candlesticks that sold on my Friday night's finds and flips. Now I'm just going to wet distress, so just taking a wet rag and gently rubbing back some of the paint in areas that would be naturally worn over time. After I did the candlesticks, I also did all of the buckets as well. I wanted to add just a little special touch to these buckets, so I grabbed my Grain Sack Minis, a JRV number 24 stencil brush, and DIY Black Velvet. Now I'm just using a little tiny section of the stencil. That way you can really customize these stencils. You can mix and match them any way you want. You'll be able to find these products on my website, upcycledbybree.com, but I will also link them down in the description box for you below. This stencil is meant to be used horizontally, but I'm turning it vertically and I'm just using a few of the words. When I'm done, it is going to say Main Street Feed. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, my hands are real tired. <laughs> this morning and I could not even hardly hold onto the brush right to swirl so we are pouncing but thankfully Jamie's stencils are so awesome that even with pouncing I got a super crisp image. I am however going to take just a little bit of sandpaper to it kind of haphazardly trying to give it an authentically aged look. Now to make some magic happen, I'm going to be using my white wax and the DIY wax is so buttery smooth and creamy, super easy to apply and all natural. So I'm not worried to be having it all in my hands like this. I'm going to go ahead and do a heavy wax on this piece. No clear wax first, just straight onto the white wax. I'll get it applied evenly and then we will take a towel and wipe it back a bit. And same thing with the corbel, another heavy wax. This time I am going to go ahead and wipe most of it off of the raised surfaces, leaving it deep down in those crevices. Thank you. 
And now for the before and after pics. Which of the three colors is your favorite? Leave me a comment down below. I think these flower buckets came out super adorable. They're unique and they were still easy and efficient to make. And now one of my favorite finishes, apothecary and white wax. So gorgeous. All of these flips will be featured in my brand new summer collection on upcycledbybree.com. I will be sure to drop a direct link to that collection down below for you. And these candlesticks have already sold, but I wanted to show you how pretty they are with just a coat of white paint and a little distressing. See the item there that they're staged with? I'm going to show you how to make that next, right after we finish up a little gardening. I got tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, and my herbs planted. It is super windy. Let's go back inside. Last project for today is also super simple but beautiful. I was able to find these sawtooth hangers on Amazon and they were a lifesaver. I'm able to just tap them into these galvanized chargers from Dollar General. And I use stainless steel wool and vinegar to give them the rust patina. Now I'm just taking a drop cloth and very simply using a pencil to trace the outline of the inner circle. Notice how I'm using a used piece of drop cloth. I think it adds a ton of character and makes it look more like an authentic grain sack. So I went ahead and flipped the charger over just so I have a flat surface to stencil on. And I'm using a piece of my mini label pack. Again, I have some of it taped off so I can mix and match and customize each one of these chargers. I'm starting to get better at stenciling. I'm offloading my brush right onto the drop cloth there. I've got the color aviary. So I'm getting a very dry brush and I am just swirling right on top of the stencil, working the paint down into those words. After I'm done stenciling, I flip the charger back over and run a bead of hot glue down the edge of the drop cloth. Simply press it into place, then I'm snipping off a few of these little baby breath greeneries from Walmart. It was 97 cents for this bundle and I will place them inside. I hope today's video has inspired you to mix and match your stencils when you do the possibilities for design are endless. These will be available on my site as well, but they could also be very easily replicated. If you make some of these, let me know, drop me a pic in the Facebook group. I will link that down below for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you loved today's projects. 
Now, most importantly, please share this video with a friend that is going to help my channel grow so much. I will leave you guys with some exciting news. I have botanical prints restocked on my website. I know a lot of you were looking for them. So hop on over and check those out before they're gone. And I will see you back here on Tuesday to wrap up the Farmhouse Friends Go Boho bathroom makeover. Until then, I will see you later. Bye friends. Launched y'all. A little windy in Kansas today.